Dear students, today I am going to tell you about Malditov. This is uh, Mass Spectrometry Part 6 and the title of uh, today's lecture is Malditov. Malti is a, uh, the abbreviation for Matrix Assisted Laser Desorption Ionization. The sample for Malti is uniformly mixed in a large quantity of matrix. The matrix absorbs the ultraviolet light, uh, nitrogen laser light wavelength of uh, 337 nanometers and converts it to heat energy. A small part of um, the matrix down to 100 nanometer from the top outer surface of analyte in the diagram heats rapidly in several nanoseconds and is vaporized together with the sample. The mass spectrometer can give qualitative and quantitative information on the elemental, isotopic and molecular composition of organic and inorganic molecules. And the uh, first mass spectrometer was constructed by J.J. Uh, Thompson in 1912. Uh, whatever I have said is shown in these uh, is in this figure A is for anion C for cation M for matrix small m and capital M is for sample ye laser is pe girra hai analyte hai sample ki slide hai sample matrix mixture uh, this is before irradiation and this is after irradiation. You can see that after irradiation we get anion, we get cation, we get matrix also and M is capital M is the sample. Is there a matrix assisted laser desorption ionization hota hai? और इसका दूसरा व्यू ये है कि सैंपल जो है स्लाइड पे है और वहाँ से वो निकल के इस साइड में ड्रिफ्ट स्पेस में आएगा जहाँ मोस्टली नो इलेक्ट्रिक और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इस प्रेजेंट इस सेक्शन में कुछ नहीं है वो अपनी वेलोसिटी जितनी भी इसने यहाँ पे गेन करी हुई है उससे वो आगे बढ़ेगा और यहाँ डिटेक्टर पर पहुँच जाएगा और इसमें आप देखिए कि ये इसी पार्ट का दिखा रहे हैं एनालाइजर पार्ट का कि कॉन्स्टेंट वेलोसिटी फ्लाइट एट इंडिविजुअल वेलोसिटीज अपनी अपनी वेलोसिटी से uh, ये डिफरेंट के uh, टाइम्स जो हैं वो सैंपल जो हैं वो माइग्रेट कर रहे हैं सैंपल uh, के आयंस पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड आयंस माइग्रेट कर रहे हैं एंड दे आर रीचिंग द डिटेक्टर ना मैट्रिक्स असिस्टेड लेजर डिजॉर्बशन आयनाइजेशन is a soft ionization technique used in mass spectrometry align the analysis of biomolecules bio polymers such as dna protein peptide and sugars and organic molecules such as polymers uh, den dendrimers and other macromolecules which tend to be fragile and fragment when they when uh, ionized by more conven conventional आयनाइजेशन मेथड्स कन्वेंशनल आयनाइजेशन मेथड से डिग्रेड होने वाले फ्रैगमेंट होने वाले बायोमोलिक्यूल्स को इस मेथड से आयनाइज किया जाता है मेथड वेयर लेजर इज यूज टू जनरेट आयंस ऑफ हाई मोलिकुलर वेट सैंपल्स सच एज प्रोटीन्स एंड पॉलीमर्स मैट्रिक्स सॉरी माल्टी माल्टी में वट इज द प्रिंसिपल एंड मेथोडोलॉजी the sample for analysis by multi ms is prepared by mixing or coating the solution of an energy absorbent organic compound called matrix matrix is energy absorbing organic compound matrix crystallizes on drying the sample entrapped within the matrix also co crystallizes the sample within the matrix is ionized in an automated mode with a laser beam. Desorption and ionization with laser beam generates singly protonated ions 
from analytes in the sample. The protonated ions are then accelerated at a fixed potential where they separate from each other on the basis of their mass to charge ratio. The charged analytes are then detected and measured using different types of mass analyzers like quadrupoles, uh, quadrupole mass analyzers, ion trap analyzers, time of flight analyzers, etc. Here uh, we are talking about time of flight analyzers. During multi-top analysis, the uh, m by z ratio of an ion is measured by determining the time required for it to travel the length of the flight tube. A few TOF analyzers incorporate an ion mirror at the rear end of the flight tube which serves to reflect back ions through the flight tube to the detector. Thus the ion mirror not only increases the length of flight tube, it also corrects small differences in energy among uh, ions and uh, uh, this is described in AIDS et al. It's in 1998. Based on the TOF information, a characteristic spectrum called peptide mass fingerprint is generated for analytes in the sample. If it is a peptide and its figure is here, MALDI target plate sample mixed with matrix. Here it is bombarded with a laser and uh, these variety of ions are generated acceleration of positively charged ions through high voltage ye aage badhte ions separated on the basis of their m by z ratio uh, ratio and uh, due to their potential difference uh, in this field um, they move uh, according to their m by z ratio and uh, this is the top a detector which gives this mass spectra and it is matched with the standard spectra <coughs> same uh, principle is shown here sample inlet hai ye yahan se uh, itte ke bhi pe hai uh, ye potential aur isse phir ye nikal ke charge droplets banti hai jo dissolve hoti hai Dissolvated ions bante over then they enter the mass analyzers. Yaha pe ek step aur dikha hai jo abhi tak nahi dikha hai ta sample inlet hai. Jo ki liquid bhi ho sakta hai aur wo liquid ki droplets hai aur wo phir dissolvate hoti hai aur ionize hoti hai. Then ionizer mein, analyzer mein enter hoti hai. Ye again same view ki analyte hai jo ki co-crystallized hai matrix ke saath. तो मैट्रिक्स के साथ ही वो बाहर निकल रहा है और फिर डिसॉल्वेट होके वो अलग अलग हो रहा है डिसॉल्व्ड एंड आयन है ये और ये मास एनालाइजर की ओर जा रहा है स्कीमेटिक सेटिंग्स अगेन ये आयन सोर्स है जहाँ पे आयन बन रहे हैं फिर मास एनालाइजर आएगा आयंस के डिटेक्टर फिर कंप्यूटर सिस्टम होगा जिस पर कि वो एनालाइज होगा हियर वैक्यूम सिस्टम मज भी देयर All mass spectrometers contain at least three major components, an ion source, mass analyzer, and an ion collector, collection or detection system. The instrument must also be connected to a computer system to process the record and record the data and a vacuum pump to control the pressure within the mass spectrometer. According to Sigma Eldridge, the matrix must meet the following properties and requirements. It should be able to embed and isolate analyte by co-crystallization, be soluble in solvents compatible with analyte, analyte means sample to be analyzed, be vacuum stable, absorb the laser wavelength, obviously this is the uh, very important property, cause co-desorption of analyte upon laser irradiation then promote analyte ionization itni properties usme honi chahiye now matrix 
selection SA SA is synapinic acid SA ये इसका पूरा नाम है it is routinely used for higher molecular weight proteins this yields the best combination of crystal coverage and signal quantity then CHCA is used for lower molecular weight peptide species DHB used for both mass ranges in a single experiment Iniga detail niche diya hua hai matrix consists of crystallized molecules of which the most three commonly used are 3 5 di dime toxy 4 hydroxy cinnamic acid cinnapinic acid second is alpha cyano 4 hydroxy cinnamic acid chca alpha cyano alpha matrix or this we have 2 5 dihydroxy benzoic acid ye sari ye tino matrices hai unki ye properties hai aur unki properties mein se hame kya chahiye us hisab se usko choose kiya jata hai a solution of one of these uh, molecules is made of an mixture of highly purified water and an organic solvent acl acetonitrile trifluoroacetic acid may also be added a good example of matrix solution would be 20 microgram ml synapinic acid in acn water and trifluoroacetic acid in 50 is to 50 is to 0.1 ratio laser numerous gas and solid state lasers have been developed for use in multi most multi devices use pulsed UV laser and two source at 337 nanometers. Neodymium, uh, yttrium, aluminium, garnet, and the is to YAG emits at uh, 355 nanometer and gives a longer pulse time. IR lasers are also used. The most common IR laser is the erbium doped yttrium aluminium garnet er yag this emits at 2.94 micrometer it is softer than uv which is useful for certain biomolecules Ab again in ke in ke or properties we read karke jo best suitable hota hai my experiment ke liye usko use kiya jata hai the baldi method uses a pulse laser laser for fires in intervals pulse laser produces individual group of ions first pulse first group of ions second pulse second group of ions etc each group of ions generated are detected with continuous pulsing the signal resolution increases is tarah se aap dekh rahe hain ki pulse ek ke baad ek aa rahi hai to ek group ions ka gaya phir dusra gaya phir teesra तीसरा गया इस तरीके से थोड़ी थोड़ी देर पे आ रहे हैं और इरेडिएशन जो है 30 डिग्रीज के एंगल पे दिया जा रहा है टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट बेसिक प्रिंसिपल द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट एनालाइजर वाज कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड पब्लिश्ड इन 1946 बाय डब्ल्यू ई स्टीफेंस the principle of TOF is quite simple. Ions of different M by Z are dispersed in time during their flight along, along a field-free drift path of known length. Field-free, we have already seen that there is no field in it. Provided all the ions start their journey at the same time or at least within a sufficiently short time intervals, the lighter one will arrive earlier at the detector than the heavier ones. This demands that they emerge from a pulse ion source more successive stages instead of a single one. And if ion optical lenses are part of the 
find acceleration assembly which can be realized either by using pulsing ion package out of a continuous beam or more conveniently by employing a true pulsed ionization method. The typical detector, no, time mass detector, final last me and laga was me, detection ke liye, typical detector used with multi is the time of flight mass detector. TOF is a method where the ions are accelerated by electric field resulting in ion of the same strength to have the same kinetic energy. The time it takes for each ion to traverse the flight tube and arrive at the detector is based on its mass to charge ratio. Therefore, the heavier ions have shorter arrival times compared to lighter ones. Uh, this instrument looks uh, look uh, like this looks like this the uh, now the finally application of mass spectrometry to biology began in 1940s in 1959 ms was first used to sequence peptides and oligonucleotides and in 62 it was used to study the structure of nucleotides in 2002, Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to John Fenn and Koiki Tanaka for their development of soft desorption ionization methods for mass spectrometric analysis of biological molecules. Or things ko aap analyze kar lijiye, lekin biological macromolecules ke liye special needs hoti hain, jisse ki wo degrade ya uh, denature nahi ho aur unko phir bhi analyze kar liya jaye so uh, this method got the Nobel prize in proteomics it is used to identify verify and quantitate uh, uh, proteins uh, metabolites recombinant proteins protein isolated from natural sources peptides and their amino acid sequences in pharmaceutical analysis the uh, samples bioavailability studies are done, drug metabolism studies, pharmacokinetics, characterization of potential drug, drug degradation product analysis, screening of drug candidates and identifying drug targets. These are the main um, uses in pharmaceutical analysis in microbiology. It is used for identification of microorganisms. Species diagnosis by this procedure is much faster, more accurate and cheaper than other procedures based on biochemical tests. Forensic analysis, environmental analysis, pesticides on food, soil and groundwater contamination, these things are studied and these are very important um, functions of Malditoff. So thank you. Uh, this is the end of my lecture. Uh, if you like my lecture, please mm, like it, share it and subscribe it. Uh, 